Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I can show you how to create image mark your animation inside your Elementor website. You can create this to showcase your portfolios like I did. And it is very simple. I'll show you each and everything. You can create this using the free version of Elementor. You don't need to have an Elementor Pro. Now let's get started. Before we continue the tutorial, if you don't know me, my name is Satar Kamal. I am a professional web developer. I have created website for many different businesses. If you want me to create a website for you or help you in your project, you can contact me anytime. I'll put my contact details in the video description. For this tutorial, I am using the latest Flex container. To activate this, simply go to Elementor settings. Click on features. Here you have the option to activate the flex container. By the way, you can use the old inner section if you want. It's totally up to you. Now let's create the section. Click the plus icon. Add this vertical container. Set the content width to full width. And the height set to 100 VH. Then justify items set to center. And the column gap set to 5 pixel after that go to style tab here change the background to black then go to advanced tab and remove the padding by adding the zero here then add the container inside this container go back to widgets drag the container over here set the content size to full width then go to advance and remove the padding. Now inside this container we need to add the images that run the Marquee animation. To do this we use the free image carousel widget. This is come with the free version of Elementor. Now select the images that you want to animate. Then set the image size to full and set and set the slide to show to 5 now remove this navigation i don't need it after that go to additional options here i don't want the images to pause on over so i set it to no and pause on interaction also set it to no auto play speed set to 0 And the animation speed set to 4000. And in the last here set the direction. I'll set it to right. Then go to style. Here I need the spacing it between the images. Select the spacing custom. And set it to 13 pixel. Then I need a border to each image. To do this, select the border type to solid. Border width set to 1 pixel. And the border color will be FFC590. Now the images look good. Now you can see the images, image animations are not working like MarQ animation. To do this, we need to add in CSS class and the CSS code. Go to advance and here add the CSS class called MarQ dash animation. Make sure you type it correctly. Otherwise, the CSS won't work. Now, if you have the Elementor Pro, you can add the CSS code over here. But in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can add the CSS code without the Elementor Pro. Preview the page. Click on Customize under the toolbar. Here you have the option to add the CSS code. Add the given CSS code over here. Paste the CSS code. After adding the code, you can see 
द कैरोजल एनिमेशन आर कन्वर्टेड टू मार्क्यू एनिमेशन इमेज आर रनिंग स्मूथली विदाउट एनी ब्रेक नाउ क्लिक ऑन पब्लिश टू सेव दिस सी एस एस कोड नाउ लेट्स बैक टू दी एलिमेंटर पेज रिलोड द पेज टू अप्लाई द सी एस एस कोड ओवर हेयर नाउ यू कैन सी द मार्क्यू एनिमेशन आर वर्किंग परफेक्ट परफेक्टली नाउ बिफोर वी डुप्लीकेट दिस कैरोजल लेट्स ये हाउ दिस विल लुक इन स्मॉलर डिवाइसेज क्लिक ऑन रिस्पॉन्सिव प्रिव्यू गो टू टेबलेट हेयर वी नीड टू चेंज द स्लाइड टू शो टू फोर नाउ द कैरोजल लुक गुड इन द टेबलेट लेट्स गो टू मोबाइल इन मोबाइल वी नीड टू इमेज पर स्लाइड नाउ दे लुक्स परफेक्ट ऑन ऑल द डिवाइस लेट्स गो बैक टू डेस्कटॉप डुप्लीकेट द कंटेनर एंड चेंज द इमेज क्विकली नेक्स्ट आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज द कैरोजल एनिमेशन टू अपोजिट डायरेक्शन गो टू एडिशनल ऑप्शन एंड चेंज द डायरेक्शन टू लेफ्ट नाउ लेट्स डुप्लीकेट द कंटेनर टू मोर टाइम्स एंड चेंज द इमेज एंड द डायरेक्शन Now all the carousels are working as I want. Next, I need one more column. Let's duplicate the last one. But inside this column, I need to add a big heading. So let's delete the carousel. Drag the heading. to inside this container change the heading text to h1 and and add the text over here then go to style and set the text color to transparent because i did an one pixel stock to this heading and its stock color set to white then open typography and set the font family to enter and the font size 80 pixel font weight set to extra bold and this set the text transform to upper case next duplicate duplicate this heading uh, now we need the both heading side by side to do this simply select the container and select the direction to row then select the second heading and change the text to portfolio then go to style here we need to change the color to white color and remove the text stroke now select the container again and justify content set to center to align this center next i want this container between the carousels to do this open the navigator first let's minimize this containers and drag this last container to between this carousels all good let's close the navigator Now let's see how the whole section it will look in the smaller devices. Let's go to tablet. Tablet the section looks good. Let's go to mobile. Here we need to change the font size. Let's see. Let's change the font size to forty-four pixel. same size up, apply to another heading let's reduce the size to 38 pixel make sure its both headings are aligned
38 is good now let's reduce the gap to 10 pixel after that go to advance and let's add some padding to top and bottom unlink this padding and add 30 pixel padding from top and the bottom all done the section looks good in the mobile and the tablet and the in the last desktop all done let's close this responsive preview hope you like this video if you like it then please make sure you like this video and if you want this demo as a template you can get this from the video description you can just import it and change the images now see you in the next video